Here we are at one of the most famous wind caves in Rock City. And just looking at the ground, it's a very interesting swirly pattern in the rock. It's actually got a name, Lizengang structures. The color is from iron oxide, but it really represents the dark minerals in that granodiorite that was eroded so long ago in the ancient Sierra Nevada and carried here along with the quartz sand grains. So that's the, the intricate swirling and staining in the rock, uh, Lizengang structures. The wind caves have a little less exotic explanation. Geologists have been puzzling about them for a very long time. It turns out that even though quartz is very hard, the grain component of this sandstone, the cement is not resistant to water, mostly calcium carbonate. And during our long rainy winters, slightly acidic rainwater having mixed with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere soaks into the rock and it dissolves that cement holding the sand grains together. It moves the cement in solution around in the, in the cliff face and deposits a lot of it in some areas, so they've got a lot of cement once that water has drained away. But other areas have been denuded of all their cement. You just have loose sand grains. And over the years, subsequent rainstorms wash away the sand grains to create these caves. So maybe wanting to sound poetic, they were given the name Tafoni, which is a Corsican word for windows. But some geologists will crinkle up their noses when they hear that. Usually Tafoni is applied to that honeycomb pattern of weathering that you see at a shoreline in rock outcrops, where moisture with dissolved salt seeps into the rock. The salt crystallizes and pries open little holes. That's usually the traditional definition of Tafoni. These are like Tafoni on steroids, I guess would work. But the real factor that causes it is water, slightly acidic rainwater and porous sandstone. If you head a little farther down the trail, there's a sign that shows how the sand got here. That's the granite being weathered and eroded and the quartz sand grains being carried towards the west. Head down to the Madrone Canyon Trailhead for stop 2.7. It's right across the parking lots and the road by the restroom building and a couple of interpretive signs. 